We're so happy that you're here with us today. A warm welcome. My name is Warren Finch. I'm the director of the George Bush Presidential Library and Museum. Today we celebrate the Education Department's 2005 Outstanding as well as the Art Essay Student Winners. And it's great to be doing this program again after a two-year hiatus. This year's art and essay theme is Best Places to Be, calling for original artwork and essays depicting a favorite place, real or imaginary. Students create beautiful and interesting places found on the land, I don't have, the ocean, and space to express their preferences. I had me, the privilege of reading the essays, and there were some great ones. I learned of a new park hidden in plain sight here in College Station. There was an entry from a student whose favorite place was books. Anne with an E of Green Gables one of, was one of her favorites, and like my daughter, now grown, Anne with an E. I hear she's read the whole series as well as some of the Little House books. One of the students talked talk point, poignantly about her grandmother's house and how it was her favorite place, although her grandmother is now gone. Today's PowerPoint will share scenes of the winning artwork. Please visit our exhibit our first and second place winners after the program in the classroom at the Bush Presidential Library and Museum. Thanks to the parents and teachers for encouraging your children and students. The essays and artwork were great this year. We also want to thank the Georgia Barbara Bush Foundation and its CEO, Max Angerholzer, who funds this program. We'd also like to thank longtime sponsors, Hobby Lodge Certified Framers, as well as awards and more. volunteers, we can't do this without them, and the Bush Ambassadors, many from the Bush School, taking time to help us also today. Our thanks also go to the event staff here at the Annenberg uh, Presidential Conference Center. Sarah Krosteski, Tracy Hepp, Michael Johnson, Dick Clyde Hans, Texas A&M Transportation Agency. A big thank you to That's the art judges, essay judges, Shirley Hammond and her education team for making today's event possible. President George H.W. Bush and, his, and First Lady Barbara Bush supported education and the arts throughout the And we here at the Bush Library and Museum are carrying out that legacy. Dr. Shirley Hammond, who is responsible for this program and gets much the credit, will now come forward and give some acknowledgments. Thank you all for being here. Thank you, Warren. It is truly wonderful to have all of you here today for our annual awards celebration. It's an honor to acknowledge administrators who have taken time to be here today. Please hold your applause until all of them have, are acknowledged. And they are from College Station ISD, uh, Chief Academic Officer Penny Trammell, from Bryan ISD, Superintendent Ginger Carabine, uh, Dr. Leslie Holtkamp, um, who is in charge of curriculum and instruction at Bryan ISD, JoLynn Bricker, the Assistant Director for Elementary Curriculum and Instruction, Fine Arts uh, Director Patrick Corbett, Principal Bridget Cooper of Bowen Elementary, Principal Daniela Legge of Ross Elementary, and Matthew LeBlanc, who is the Executive Director of Communications and Public Affairs. From St. Joseph's Catholic School, we have Principal Julia Mischler. From the City of Bryan, we have David Schmitz, the Director of Parks, Recreation, and Facilities. From Norman G. ISD, we have Principal Jake George of Norman G. Middle School. And from the Boys and Girls Club of Brazos Valley, we have CEO Rhonda Watson and Maria Wiggins, who is Director of Marketing and Resource Development. Let's give them all a big thanks. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So as Warren mentioned, for the past 21 years, I've had the joy of creating and organizing both the art and essay contests and this award ceremony. This year has been a pleasure to have the Bush education team with four Texas A&M student um, interns. So I want to acknowledge them at this time and please stand. Santiago Surdan, Crosby Q, Rebecca Ham, and Bailey Tillerson. Thank you so much. Many thanks to all students who created art and wrote essays, and to the supportive teachers who entered their work using our online portal. Our sincere thanks to all educators and families for encouraging this enrichment. So now, please welcome Dr. Robert Hoseweiss, our Deputy Director, who will announce this year's Outstanding Educators. Thank you for being here. Good afternoon, everyone. And howdy. howdy! I'm glad you're as excited as we are. <laughs> I'm glad you're as excited as we are to being back and welcoming you to the Presidential Conference Center and being later on welcoming you back to the library. It's been a long two years, I think we will all agree. And um, boy, it's great to be back. And I'm glad you're all here with us today. It is my privilege to um, salute and honor five individuals who make a difference in the lives through their remarkable community and educational service and engagement in educational programming. Recipients of the George H.W. Bush Presidential Library and Museum's Outstanding Educator Award are selected for supporting and enriching the creativity of students through their dedication, inspiration, encouragement, and encouragement both in and outside of the classroom. Emphasis on both in and outside. They're role models for our students. The five educators will be honored in alphabetical order. The first is Mr. Jimmy E. Gilbert, Sr. He has been, with the Neo has been the supervisor at the Neo Recreation Center in Bryan for over two decades. Mr. Gilbert enjoys watching the students participate, or partic student participants, excuse me, grow into productive citizens through sports and the community programs offered at the Neo Recreation Center. When asked about that, he said, quote, we provide youth development and a safe environment in a low income area of Bryan, unquote. Mr. Gilbert explains his educational philosophy as follows, quote, the reason we get into the profession of recreation is the love of helping people have fun, enjoy nature, develop social skills, and develop confidence through sports and educational activities, unquote. Also, he points out that recreation bridges the gap between socioeconomic groups, teaches teamwork, and helps small and large groups work toward a common goal. These activities can help to eliminate negative behaviors in youth that participate in these programs. Mr. Gilbert is a 1990 graduate of Texas A&M University, earning a Bachelor of Science degree in kinesiology. He also earned a scholarship to play basketball at Texas A&M University. While participating in the basketball program, he traveled to several countries where he had the unique opportunity to live and learn new cultures. <clears throat> Based on that experience, he notes, quote, we had to learn to communicate and work together toward common goals unquote, something he has embraced in his life work at Neal uh, Recreation Center. Thanks to Mr. Gilbert's leadership, Neal Recreation students have participated for over 20 years in the summer programs and the annual Juneteenth celebration organized by the Education Department at the George Bush Library, and I want to thank him for participating in those programs. We salute you for your active engagement in our community with our youth, and your dedication to sports and education enrichment. Thank you, thank you, for assuring us safe and productive experiences in the lives of our students. Please join me on stage so we can recognize you. Mr. Gilbert.
Is this good enough? Are we doing okay? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Our next award winner is Miss, Mrs. Bobby Kelly Rodriguez. Ms. Rodriguez is the K-12 Social Studies Coordinator for College Station ISD. For 12 years, she taught primarily AP History and AP Government at A&M Consolidated High School. She is a graduate of Texas A&M University. Ms. Rodriguez shares her education philosophy by explaining, quote, our greatest aspiration as educators must be to equip students with the skills they need to be active, engaged, and empathetic citizens of their communities. Student agency is the most important ingredient in the experience of learning, unquote. She also notes, quote, we do our students a disservice if we fail to provide ample opportunities for them to construct their own understanding and practice thinking critically and evaluatively, unquote. Although agreeing this is a lofty goal, to accomplish these very high ideals, Ms. Rodriguez encourages teachers themselves to be lifelong learners and willing to risk some discomfort as they open their classrooms to the often messy process that is real learning. And I can, as a teacher myself part-time, I can assure you that there is some messy learning that goes on in classrooms. In summary, she emphasizes, quote, above all, teachers must love their students and create safe and welcoming spaces that enables students to dream big dreams for themselves and for the future of our community, our nation, and our world, unquote. Career highlights point to Ms. Rodriguez's dedication to teaching students. She was selected Dean's Roundtable Honoree by the Texas A&M University College of Education and Human Development in 2019. For seven years, from 12, 2012 to 2019, she was selected to be a College Station ISD Hall of Fame teacher from 2015 to 2018, she was a College Board AP U.S. History mentor. Ms. Rodriguez is the author of the Cengage Learning American Pageant, Ancillary Sources, and Test Prep Materials. The Bush Education Department appreci appreciates her collaboration with various programs we offer here and at the library. It is a great pleasure to work with Ms. Rodriguez. We salute you for inspiring and in, uh, inspiring students to innovative and creative thinking. Your edu educational leadership and encouragement of lifelong learning among colleagues is much appreciated. Thank you, and please join me on stage. can't see without these. Okay. Our next honoree award winner is Miss Lisa Mooton. Miss Mooton's education and background includes a master's degree from Sam Houston State University and a Bachelor of Arts from Brigham Young University in history teaching. She is now the social studies coordinator and world language coordinator of the Bryan Independent School District. Previously, she was the social studies coach at Bryan High School and Rudder High School. She has 19 years as an educational leader in our community with seven of those years spent in the Bryan Independent School District. Ms. Mooton enjoys helping students and teachers to appreciate the value of social studies, which is also personally very close to my heart. Her educational philosophy demonstrates her purpose and commitment. She explains, quote, opportunities to learn surround us and all people have the potential to become lifelong learners. When a reciprocal relationship of trust exists between student and teacher, combined with a mutual desire for progress, both can grow intellectually, academically, emotionally, and socially. In summary, she says, finding joy in facilitating and encouraging that growth journey is at the heart of being an educator." Unquote. 
Among Miss Mooton's favorite personal achievements is being the co-creator of the Brighter F Futures online GED preparation program and her work as a bilingual instructor. She was selected the Texas Council for the Social Studies High School Teacher of the Year in 2014. One of the jo <coughs> excuse me, one of the joys of teaching included helping her students advance in the National History Day competition. Her service contributions to help others include a year and a half as a missionary in Honduras. Ms. Mooton has guest curated two museum exhibits based on her historical research and nonprofit work. Also, she has contributed as a volunteer historical interpreter at various community events, including research and performative events. We appreciate Ms. Mooton's dedication during COVID, their COVID crisis to organizing high school students in Zoom interactive historical programs presented by the Bush Education Department, as well as providing opportunities for enrichment on site here at the library. We salute her steadfast educational leadership and focused focus on positive actions for our students and our community. We thank you. Please join me on stage. Next, we honor Tracy L. Thomas. Ms. Thomas is the Vice President of Operations at the Boys and Girls Club of the Brazos Valley. Her current position is Director of Safety and Facilities. Ms. Thomas shares that she enjoys, enjoyed sports, sports throughout her junior and high school years. She played volleyball, basketball, ran track, and played in the band. She was very busy. As a senior, she was honored to be selected to lead the band as a drum majorette. She received a scholarship to play basketball at Texas A&M University. In 1992, Ms. Thomas graduated with a Bachelor of Science degree, a Bachelor of Science degree in journalism. Also, during that year, she began volunteering at the Boys and Girls Club of the Brazos Valley. She notes, quote, and 30 years later, I'm still working for one of the greatest organizations ever exclamation point, unquote. I think we can all agree with that. In sharing her educational and service philosophy, she reflected with a quote by Forrest Whitcraft, qu quoting him now, a hundred years from now, it will not matter what my bank account was, how big my house was, or what kind of car I drove, but the world may be a little better because I was important in the life of a child, unquote. She draws upon another author, Helen Keller, to highlight her philosophy on teaching. Quote, I truly believe alone we can do so little, but together we can do so much, unquote. Her many professional accomplishments include the Hometown Hero Award in 2008 and three National Service to Youth Awards. As a result of Ms. Thomas's commitment and dedication to enrich her students at the Boys and Girls Club of the Brazos Valley, she has enabled participation for two decades in the Bush Library and Museum edu summer education programs and also encourages and facilitates her participation in our Juneteenth program every year. Her students come to the museum ready for discovery and learning due to her empathetic guidance and encouraging presence. She, has, she, has a she is a vital mentor, benefiting so many students who have been able to attend the Boys and Girls Club of the Brazos Valley. For your many years of helping others to succeed through your f beneficial service, we salute you and thank you. Please join me on stage. <clears throat> <laughs>
Our fifth and final award winner is Lisa Urban. Six years ago, Ms. Urban became the art educator at St. Joseph Catholic School in Bryan for all students, pre-K through fifth, middle school, and high school. It's a big job. Having attended large schools in the past and receiving her Bachelor of Fine Arts from Kansas State University, adjusting to the restrictions of a small educational setting required her to create, uh, to think creatively and teach, to teach the subject she loves effectively. She reflects, quote, at St. Joseph, I have grown and transformed our small art program into something the students are begging to participate in. At the elementary level, students are begging for harder projects and more time to be creative. At the middle and high school level, art classes have become one of the most popular electives. It is through both mine and my students' commitment to learning and growing that our program can now stand on its own and is beginning to be recognized for its commitment to arts education. Ms. Urban's enthusiasm and love for art education and learning is compelling. She truly is inspiring to her colleagues who are impressed with her art leadership and personal skill in art crafts. Her teaching career highlights demonstrate this. In 2019, she established the program Kindergartner, Kindergarten Meets High School, where high school students interpret the artwork of young students. That must be a fascinating program. It is now a favorite program and an annual event with students excited to participate every year. In 2020, she was, she was an Advancing Our Mission Grant recipient from the Diocese of Austin to acquire a kiln and supplies for pottery and clay, since at the time the school did not have these things. She is now the president-elect of the Brazos Valley Art Education Association, an organization we work with very closely at the library following three years of service as secretary for the same organization. She plans meeting and community activities with members and shares event information. Ms. Urban is a private school chair elect for the Texas Art Education Association and acts as a liaison for other private schools. Her goal is a TAEA District of, Accredit District of Distinction Award for St. Joseph's. This award is given in recognition of advancing, of advocating for visual arts in the district. She has given presentations at various TEA conferences, hoping to win that coveted distinction. Her students consistently receive awards at the Texas Association of Private and Parochial Schools, otherwise known as TAPS. They have placed fifth and sixth among other 2A schools in the state. She contributes to many art efforts in our community. You may recognize her as the current president of the Brazos Valley Knitters and Crocheters Guild. We appreciate the, the St. Joseph students' entries due to her inspiring and dependable support of our contest. Ms. Urban, we salute you for your creative inspiration and educational enrichment. Thank you for your service to our community and our students, and please join me on stage. Can we have one more round of applause for all of our winners and honorees today? Now I'd like to invite Santiago, Crosby, Rebecca, and Bailey to introduce the 2022 Art and Essay Contest winners. Off we go. All right, so we are now about to celebrate the Essay and Art Award winners by age and category. Teachers, um, as you see your students walk up, you can go ahead and head to the bottom um, because we'll be taking pictures after each category. Uh, so you're going to want to be there ready to take that picture with your students if that's what you want. Um, two reminders, one is that art pickup is in ballroom B after this. Um, and the second is just hold your applause until the end of uh, the category is called and like the students, the names are gotten through. So. Um, that way we can get that picture. And yeah, with that, uh, Santiago, take it away. All right. 
Awesome. <clears throat> All right, so we'll be starting with the K through two, or K through second grade uh, art contest award winners, and we'll go in reverse order. So that means we'll start with honorable mentions and build up to first place. So for honorable mentions, oh, before I start, we also have uh, 2D as well as 3D entries, so we will be denoting those as well. So for grades K through second grade, honorable mentions 2D, we have Parker Bring, Alex Gibbs, Elisa Hukta, Nathan Powell Kruger, Grace Noon, Safrana Stafford. Uh, yep. <laughs> Apologies if I butchered any of those, but let's see. All right. Apologies, we're having technical difficulties with some of the uh, students. Moving on, we have our third place winners for 2D. So we have Aiden Bryan, uh, Caliga Delgado, Aiden Cubena, uh, Melanie Marzuni, Mar uh, Mina Monroe Hernandez, Daniel Nobles, and Angela Oldubun. All righty, a round of applause. No worries. Alrighty. Awesome. So we now we have our second place 2D winners. We have Faith Ann Chandler, Rebecca Arnens Gomez, McKinley Canada. Uh, we also have a group of eight. So that is Leanne Draftian, uh, Hainsley McKeffey, William Mitchum. Uh, Mika Parks, Austin Tepley, Emily Walker, Terry Laster, and Jackson Martuso. We also have two additional winners, uh, Luis Angel Garcia and Cooper Haywood. Please give them a round of applause. And finally, we have our first place 2D and 3D winners. So we have, oh, here we go. We have Josie Doss, Elena Godwin, Adson Lupo, Siona Light, Reagan Long, Lisla Lopez, Anya Stipot, Annie Sweet, Helen Thompson, Zanel Thompson, um, John Van Nord and Kaya Zhang. We also have one 3D winner, uh, Agnes Donkovich. All right, give him a round of applause.
Oh. Okay, so we got. Uh, well, we got. Is this fourth through fifth graders? Yeah. All right. I believe we're still taking pictures for K through second, so we'll wait on this category for a little longer. Good job, guys. We're on now. Yeah. yeah. Okay? Yep. All righty. We'll be transferring to our fourth through fifth graders essay art contest winners. And again, we'll go in reverse order where we go from honorable mentions third, second, first. All righty. Let's see. Oh, never mind. We will actually be doing the uh, third through fifth graders art contest award winners, I believe. Okay. So we'll start with honorable mentions. Um, if we can move slides. Alrighty. Oh, hold on. Alrighty, so for honorable mentions 2D, we have uh, Abbott Meaty, Keeley Burke, Carson Brutnan, Harris Handler, Santiago Hernandez, uh, Hadson Otsun, Pace Pipes, Olivia Van Noortz, Salone Brook, Cruz Corda, Braden Kim. These are the essay winners. Ah, I believe the slides are out of order. My bad, guys. We'll go back. So we'll go to third place then, I believe we are at. Uh, so we'll have Elisa Cruz, Jonah Fox, uh, Evie Garson, uh, Delzy Stick, uh, Rai Zeng, and Tyler Stetch. All right. Oh, give him a round of applause. Next up, we'll have the uh, second place essay contest award winners, fourth through fifth. I believe the slides are having some technical difficulties, but we'll get through it, I promise. Hmm. All right, we need to go to essay contest winners, fourth through fifth. Yep. So that's Dana Grace Neal, Samuel Mulgory, Lucas Lee, Autumn Light, Aubrey Lockhart, Keely Matthews. Uh, we also have Aksha Budenglarda, John Stewart, and Chloe Zar. All righty, that's our second place winners. Finally, we have our fourth through fifth graders essay contest award first place winners. Madeline G, Sabrina J, Tyler M, Grace M, Josephine P, Audrey S, Leela S, and Alexander W. Moving back 
to the third defense, so we have to go back. Wait, wait, first, first, just, just leave it there for a bit. Leave it there for a bit for pictures. So we're going back to art for the fifth honor of mentions. Apologies. Alrighty. There we go. I think the slides are now back in order. <laughs> Alrighty, so next up we have our Art Contest Award winners. These are the third through fifth graders, and we'll start in reverse order again with honorable mentions. So for 2D honorable mentions, we have Abbott B, Kaylee B, Carson B, Harris H, Santiago H, uh, Addison O, Pace P, Olivia Van Gorg, uh, and then we have a group of four with uh, Salone B, Cruz C, Brandon K, Aaron S. We additionally have Robert C. and Victoria H. So uh, give a round of applause to our honorable mentions. <laughs> Next up, we have our third place 2D and 3D third grade uh, through fifth grade art contest winners. So we have Sina A, Sarah M, Ruby N, Kara P, Zoe P, Rachel S, Burrell S, Colin S, and QV. Additionally, we have a 3D uh, category with uh, Logan B, a group of four with uh, Manuel E, Fletcher M, Hudson T, Leanne T, Another group of four with uh, Magnolia H, Aiden L, Clary L. Another group of four with uh, John M, a writer R, Victoria R, Owen R, and Eliza Cruz. And those are our third place winners. Next up, we have our second place 2D and 3D winners uh, for grades three through five. And we have Harper B, Carly C, Rebecca D, Bailey H, Ruth H, uh, Mel Mallory Melody O, Caden W, Riley Y, Phobe Y, Rice Z. We have a group of two with uh, Jack G, Cole Z. Additionally, we have Autumn L, Sadie L, Joseph P, and Kanko L. And those are our second place 2D and 3D winners. All righty, good job, good job, guys. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> a couple of hugs never hurt anyone. And then finally, we have our first place 2D and 3D award winners in the category grades 3 through 5th for art contest awards. We have Santiago A, Mia A, Riley B, Cole E, Griffin H, Caitlin M, Benton M, Maria N, Amelia P, Zoe T, Elena V, Lucy W, and for our 3D winners, we have a group of four in William B, Ali A, Jackson D, Jamie D, as well as another group of uh, four with uh, Kenny B, Sydney B, Lily C, and Jack J. We also have Drew D, Max H, Jonah K, uh, LDI K, and Caroline S. And those are our first place 2D and 3D art winners for grades 3 through 5th.
Awesome. Give him one more round of applause. Alrighty, guys. Next up, uh, Bailey Tilson will do uh, middle school, so sixth through eighth grade essay and art winners. Thank you very much. Next, we will be going over grades six through eight essay contest award winners, beginning with honorable mentions. Lucy Ferguson, Kylie Volger, Annalika Papini, Chloe Polakoff, Quinn Johnson, and Steven Svar. Third place essay awards for grades six through eight, Alexa Drew, Emma Dubison, Larissa Foster, Matteo Muniz, Lillian Schuliter, and Claire Tigelovin. In second place, we have Emma Benitez, Nathan Bigler, Ava Brieger, Bailey Fletcher, Mark Malman, Caden Powell, and Catherine Ward. And in first place, we have Jocelyn Adams, Andrea Cruz, Morgan Cude, Jade Dodson, Jack Dumas, Charlie Harris, Brady McDaniel, Lillian McInnes, Aiden Melson, Aaron Ness, Kaylee Simon, Adeline Snyder, and Kyson Tony. Now I will be announcing the winners for the grade six through eight art contest. For honorable mentions, we have Reese Applewhite, Lucia Arroyo Fontecha, Cody Hitchhock, Molly McNamara, Audrey Snyder, Avery Winslow. And in the 3D category, we have Chase Graff, Dakota Nguyen, Kaylin Hartman, Wesley Stratman, and Clay Yates. In third place, we have Addison Bruce, Peyton Hughes, Evangeline Humes, Lillian Jacobs, Cooper Johnson, Case Madison, Jack Zhao. And in the 3D category, we have Tinley Carlisle, Riley Moore, Grayson Schaffer, Tanner Corgi, and Amelia Elmendorf.
In the second place category, we have Max Anatov, Christian Arredondo, Lillian Gibson, Maxine K Khalil, Apollarina Pacatina, Ali Pacatina, Kylie Smith. And in the 3D category, we have Ali McAllister, Sanjay Pillai, Gareth Tate, and Lena White. Finally, in our first place category for grades six through eight, we have Pavan Alwalia, Addison Duhan, Jaden Gilbert, Hudson Hutto, Eileen Ingling, Ellie Karasek, Chloe Kim, Daria Kostova, Daria Lebdeva, Lana Lloyd, Kyla Parr, Michaela Parr, I'm sorry, Vittoria Raganato, Renal Remedios, Colby Roberts, Jimena Tristan, and Anna Witten. And in the 3D category, we have Eloise Barton, Serenity Bilzing, Adeline Thais, Azul Santoyo, JP Gassick, Sarah K. Chandler, and Alex Quimby. Rebecca will now be announcing the high school awards. Yeah, honorable mention essays. All right, moving on to grades nine through 12, we have honorable mention Kate Catalina, Sarah Kakwan. Nathan Taylor, Ryan Toff, and Ashlyn Valentin. In third place, we have Emily Brimbelow, Elizabeth Castro, Samuel Hinjosa, Lanzu Yu, Jaden Patel, Emily Reed, Hazel Schloss, and Russ Whitfield. And in second place, we have Ali Duan, 
Malila Lynn, Seth Martinez, Annabelle Nolan, Nathan Parulin, Stephen Payne, Zareen Sohani, and Anthony Vasquez. And in first place, we have Hannah Bateg, Ahmad Wasim Berzinga, Emma Burton, Myla Cathy, Leah Miller, Luke Sanders, Mida Sarin, Diva Sarinsvaz, and Jaden Warner. In honorable mention 2D, we have Kimber Budget, Madeline Bohim, Ashlyn Feliciano, Shireen Gohil, Tim Hyde, Ashley Owens, and Susanna Patrick. In In third place, 2D, we have Blake Barched, Keely Chaddick, Elizabeth Cook, Amber Hunter, John Kareskev, Ali Matthews, Kira McPeck, Jacob Molina, Sarah Rincon Morales, and Jaden Sanchez. In second place, 2D, we have Emily Barrick, Piper Belk, Grayson Harrod, Janice Kim, Lena Lipscomb, Mary McCarthy, Miranda Mug, Faith Renizek, Diego Royos Montes, and Sierra Winnick. In second place, 3D, we have Matthew Owens. And last but not least, uh, in first place, 3D, we have Lily Eckert and Vivania Nugent. And for 2D, we have Grace Barrick, Elena Bugat, Eris Choi, Natalia Garcia, Melissa Points, Boya Shi, Hannah Stevenson, Zoe Taylor, Atia Tomlinson, Joshua White, Corin Young, and Noah. And now for some closing remarks um, from Horn. Yes. All right, awesome. Take it away. Thank you. Thanks to everyone who helped with today's program. Really appreciate it.